Next up, Bird and Me, did you know you have to train every single day of your life, folks? You probably didn't. You probably think that it is something that only athletes and movie stars do, folks. But you are an athlete because you've got two legs and two arms. And even if you don't, you still have to do some form of exercise to keep your brain ticking over and working at its full potential. So I am here to do my nightly workout basically every single night of the week and invite you to do the same. It is Start Building Me, so it is for anybody, whether you've trained before or not, that is the whole point, is to get you to stand up, which is my mantra here, is to stand up, folks. Get the blood pumping through your body. If you're just walking around or you could walk on the spot, whatever it is you're doing, most people do not exercise enough, and that's what I'm here for. So I'm gonna start doing my exercise because it is something that I want to do. So I'm gonna do some goblet squats tonight to get my own workout out. Oh, I might flip it upside down. Keep it like this and do some squats. Get the blood pumping in me so I can go and enjoy some crypto news. And chill out for the rest of the evening. Sort of cool how it sort of looks all green screeny going through because it's silver. Hope you are, ah, Jazz, good to see you in the house. Hope you are having a good week to kick off with. Hope you had a good weekend also. I had a pretty kick back weekend. Didn't really do that much at all. Still resting the tendon. I'm not sure what's going on. Probably need to go to see a physiologist. <laughs> Tell me what I'm doing wrong. <sighs> Other than that, everything else is going all well in the kingdom of Dave here at the Start Building Me Virtual Studio, folks. I cannot stress this enough. We're trying to raise our heart rate, trying to get breathing, trying to increase your blood pressure, increase your rest in heart rate for the time being to get the blood pump in. Your brain needs blood to be pumped into it. Your organs need blood to be pumped into it. So as I'm trying to explain to people, if you want to live a life not only to your full potential, but to really any potential, you really have to exercise. It's something that I noticed over the course of my life that people think is somehow optional. It isn't. You've got to exercise. You can just be walking. You can be doing some squats and some push-ups here with me at Start Building Me. Or you can succumb to chronic disease later in life. It's really up to you. I wouldn't recommend the latter when it really is easy to get started here and if you want to go and progress anything over go to a team sport regular sport which is what i do go to the gym go for walks hikes stuff like that i recommend you should do that and i will help you get on that path as well i'm going to continue doing some squats with my fancy yellow kettlebell two three four five six Seven, eight, nine, ten. Whoa. Feels good. A 16 kilo kettlebell can add some more intensity to my routine, which is good because I do a lot of squats over the course of the day and uh, can increase the intensity so I don't have to do as many repetitions. Intensity is uh, more important than repetition. <laughs> You don't want to keep on doing repetition. It can uh, strain all your ligaments, strain all your tendons. Uh, you've got to be pretty advanced to do endurance sort of stuff. So with here, I try to keep the numbers down. Follow what I say, not what I do. If you can get one or three or five, that's uh, enough, folks. So you really don't have to do a whole bunch of repetitions. You can think of them very... Uh, you know, just really separate them, isolate them down, think of what you're doing. Shoulder width, feet, looking straight ahead, head up. Always continue to breathe. Arms out as a counterbalance so you don't fall backwards. Breathe in, sitting back into your heels, the weight's going to the outside of your feet. The reason it's going to the outside of your feet is because that's how our biomechanics are set up so that we drive our toes, our heels, and the side of our feet into the ground when we're doing a squat because that's how, you know, that's where we've got arches in our feet. So sit back, think of it like a bellows as I always use, 19th, probably, it's probably 
earlier than 19th century, 18th, 17th, who knows? Anyways, an air pump. <laughs> It will enable you to do more if you're not so familiar with the exercise. So I really encourage you to be mindful. I hate the word, but be mindful of your breathing because people, including myself, are not really that mindful of their breathing during the day. The only time we're truly present, as I believe Eckhart Tolle said in his book, The New World, and I believe uh, that he is true when he's saying that, the only time you are truly present is when you're focusing on your breath, right? So during the course of the day, really think about that. You're feeling yourself getting tired in the chest, clammy, sweaty, anxious, nervous, depressed. Take a kick back. and focus on your breathing. I have to do this quite a lot, people. Like, I mean, you know, sometimes life can get stressful. Things can irritate you. People can say something that annoys you. And you grip your teeth and ah, and you're about to explode instead. Like on The Simpsons, calm blue ocean, calm blue ocean. You know, stuff's gonna annoy you. Stuff's gonna bother you. Stuff bothers me all the time. I'm not all smiles and happiness here. You can probably sense that on Start Building Me. Sometimes you can see, oh, Dave, he's starting to get a twitch. What's he thinking about? It's none of your business, damn it. <laughs> Rawr, but sometimes you just gotta vent. And before you vent, just take some breaths. And do some squats. Chill out. And see, so just by doing that, doing some repetition of breathing, doing some mindfulness of breathing, doing some squats, combusting some of that oxygen, getting rid of that explosive fuel, it will relax you. And that's what it should do because, you know, like I said, it's hard not to be affected with the externalities of this world. Switching on the news, switching on social media, going outside, walking through the town centre, walking through the city. There will be stuff that irritates you. <laughs> I know because I'm also human and it happens to me. People that are tailgating you in a car driving home from work, whatever it is, you know, people can be irritating. And that's what I'm setting up Start Building Me for is start building you. Look after yourself. It sounds counterintuitive. It sounds something that goes against the grain of society. We should all be looking after each other, as they say. That is true, but as I always say, like the analogy of being on a plane, you put the mask on yourself before you put it on the small child, because if not, you're no good to anyone if you die. So please, folks, look after yourself. This is why I am doing this, because for me, if I didn't do this for myself, all hell would break loose in my mind. So always when I get back from work, I walk the dogs, take it easy. But before I take it easy, I come and do a workout and that's where Start Building Me started. I am doing this for myself. Like I said, I'm putting the mask on myself before I'm putting on the mask of all you people watching this live or on repeat on YouTube, Twitch, or Facebook, because I need everybody to really understand that you have to exercise, folks. It is not a choice. People think that it is something that is for looking good or something for athletes. It isn't, it's for everyone. As I always say here, like a broken record, your body does not work if you do not work your body. So you really have to work your body. I'm going to be sounding like a broken record. I always do whilst walking around my yellow kettlebell on the spot. I need you to understand that for your life to become a lot, a lot easier in so many different ways, you have to exercise and it can be quick. It can be very easy to do. We're already halfway through this session. 10 minutes in from doing some squats. I feel the blood pumping through my body. I'm feeling good. 
and uh, and you will too, as long as you keep that consistency up, which is the key buzzword that I will always say here. Form in a habit, work the body, work, work the body. Exactly, mate. Exactly right. You've got to do it. Even if it's just for 20 minutes here at night, we start building me. What's 20 minutes for old Dave here? Old Dave at Start Building Me. Come on. So send me a message like Jazz. You know, insult me. I couldn't care less. As long as you're doing some squats and doing some push-ups, that is what I want to see. Oh, I can't do it. It's too slippery, this kettlebell. My cast iron ones, I can't. Oh. <laughs> too slippery. Get the blood pumping, though, folks. Get the blood pumping. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oof. Yeah, I'm not sure about that insanity. Sorry to hear about getting bucked off the horse. And no, we're not talking about stopping using heroin which is normally what getting bucked off the horse means in my sordid old world jargon. It was actually getting bucked off a horse, which is uh, arguably worse. <laughs> well, far worse than getting off it. I uh, hope it's not uh, a Sally Star Jump special with multiple weeks off, whatever it is you're doing. As I'm always telling people, even if you're hobbling around, just keep hobbling. Just hobble. Abbreviate the Nike slogan, just do it. Whatever it is that you're doing, you could be sitting here and you could just be. People are not annoying me at all. Um, the news isn't propaganda. <laughs> Whatever it is that you're doing, folks, focus on your breathing, breathe in and out, all good things, staying in the present, as Eckhart Tolle says. Oh, mate, Eckhart, in it. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirty 30 minutes. I'm going to bust out another 10 because it's Monday. Why not? Bust out another 10 squats, get your heart pumping, raise your heart rate, raise your blood pressure, and then we'll call it a quits for Monday. Do some push ups and get out of here, folks. It's the easiest thing to do in the world to do a little bit of exercise. And then go on to Twitch land, watch people play video games for all I care. I mean, you should play video games in my opinion, but hey, if you wanna watch them, go and watch them. Or watch some telly, do your homework, finish off that work that your ball, ball busting boss is making you do in the evening on a Monday or in the morning if you're in Europe or whatever you're doing. If this is something that you are watching on repeat, but, as you can see, I'm already breathing heavily. I'm done for the day. So after I finish doing 10 more kettlebell squats and a few more push-ups, I'm gonna be out of here, folks. Gonna watch, not download, the new Simpsons that came out. Hopefully see what else is coming out as well. Probably Family Guy. And uh, then I'm gonna read because I uh, find that the light gets distracted. And as you can see here, I'm getting quite bombarded with heavy light in 64K from my LED panels here, but just so you don't see how brown I am. <laughs> so I've got to keep the light bright. Anyway, 10 more squats, then I'll do some push-ups, then we'll get out of here, and uh, I'll see you on Tuesday. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh yeah, done with the kettlebell. Switch to Dave's patented crotch cam in the Start Building Me virtual studio. 
And we'll do some push-ups now, folks. You can do push-ups off your knees if you do not have the core strength. You can always do push-ups like that. They are push-ups after all. Am I not pushing myself up off the floor? Yes, I am. So look, there'll be all those form sticklers telling you that they're not real push-ups. This is start building me, <laughs> not keep building me or advance building me or let's become professional athletes. I'm just trying to get people into the healthy habit of exercise. And whether it's here or not, I'm not an influencer. Well, I kind of am, but I'm kind of just trying to get everybody into the habit of exercising because I think they don't realize that they have to. And I think they don't know how important it is for their mental health and physical health by just doing the bare minimum, which is what I am showing you how to do here. I'm gonna do some strict push-ups though because I can. Do them off your knees, like I said, if you want to. But it's basically an upper body squat where we're pushing the blood through our body. On the stuff at Start Building Me YouTube, you can look at a video and explain how to do it. I am going to be doing my own workout today, so I'm not going to do much explaining. But, uh, yeah, feel free to shout out any digital media that you suggest I should watch legally and not download. Uh, I'm always watching out for digital media. I watched the UFC yesterday uh, to very interesting actually to see Aljamain Sterling beat Henry Cejudo. So Henry, Henry Cejudo, a gold medalist, the wrestler and two division UFC champion, making a comeback against Aljamain Sterling and uh, dangerously underestimating that Aljamain Sterling is pretty damn good. Very good conditioned fighter, decent on the ground. So it was an okay fight. Um, not the greatest card though in the world. Other than that, I watched House Guest, which was a Paulie Shaw movie and was quite terrible. Even though I listened to him on the Joe Rogan podcast, it was a bit of a flash in, what do they call it? Uh, flash from the past or whatever. Been watching Mrs. Davis. It's bon it's bonkers but fun. About and then an AI. Interesting. Oh well, might be worth checking out. Thank you for the suggestion. Always appreciated. Just a size. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19.20, we have got 70 minutes of the clock, so another two minutes left. Let's see what we can get out of here, folks. Off your knees, doesn't matter. You could be running on the spot. You could be walking in a circle in your own Start Building Me virtual studio. I don't care what it is that you're doing. All I'm doing here at Start Building Me is giving you a placeholder of 15 to 20 minutes to come and hang out Talk, shoot the proverbial S-H-I-T and, uh, and get into the habit of wet exercising a little bit every day. Whatever it is, it doesn't matter. It's uh, like I said, the numbers and the exercise that I'm doing are arbitrary. We have people coming here of all different abilities or disabilities and doing some different workouts just to come and realize that we've got to do this every day. And hell, I even do it at the weekends, but I don't just start building me at the weekends anymore. It becomes too much work and I've already got too much stuff to do. Another minute on the clock, folks, 90 minutes. Let's hang up the gloves at 20. I wanted to go and do boxing this afternoon at the gym, but if I do it late in the evening like now, being 20 past seven at night, I find it wrecks my sleeping habit. So I'm not gonna do that. It's 19.30, almost on the clock. I'm gonna do 20 more push-ups and get out of here. As always, like, subscribe, whatever platform you are on. Come and uh, send me a message, ask me questions. This is my life, it should be yours as well. Uh, I think that does me get the blood pumping it's pumping into my brain 
all good things, folks. Love you wherever you are in the world. Thanks for joining me on the live or on repeat. It doesn't matter to me. See you tomorrow if you're around. And as always, stand up, folks.